this is oh, a conversation that that's not fair. all parents with a kid with I cancer love him have. As much as you do. How do you Just fight it? Really How do you deal with we're it? Going to be okay. Hope or despair. They're both. Well, neither one's going to do anything to fix the problem, right? Guys, thank you for tuning in. This is a drift. It is the next chapter in that dragon cancer. Cancer floating like mines in the ocean. Uh, if you've missed the previous parts, I'll give you links to the playlist right now. And if you're just tuning in now, know that this is not a fun game. This is a serious narrative driven game that's already made me wipe tears from my eyes and we're barely halfway through it. We've just learned that Joel is approaching the end of his life. I have so many things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write. This is to settle myself. His mom, and find Amy. God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. That's true. I've never felt completely and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go, I know we will be carried. I want to shout out, look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I want to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt, but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's faithfulness. This game is as much about religion as anything else. Hope and faith is what got this family through. That was a message in a baby bottle. And here's another. We've been through so much already. This is a new degree of tragedy, but it's not so much different from the struggle we've already been living. We pressed into God. We pressed into faith. We fought until we found peace. We stood in peace when our flesh wanted to strive more. That's the lighthouse. We stood in peace when it started to feel like laziness or foolishness or both. <laughs> We waited for God to direct us specifically in prayer because all the directions we had initiated had not panned out. We prayed for no nausea because that's what we felt in our spirits we were supposed to pray, even though we'd prayed it countless times before while Joel continued to vomit. We saw one small miracle and then another. We waited to pray specific things until we were given specific direction, and we saw bigger miracles. And yet, if you asked either of us if we were doing enough, trying hard enough, we would say no. I suppose I ought to be talking. I mean, if you just want to experience this game, guys, you can. It's a game you can go get right now. That's the lighthouse from the painting in the room where they were told that Joel is not responding to chemo. And all that's left is radiation. And right now we seem to be playing as a seagull, experiencing the notes that Amy wrote to herself while going through this tragedy. Here comes another moment of me shutting up. I remember the day I was diagnosed. Oh. I remember the hallucinations from the high fever of five-year-old's nightmares. I remember my mother silently weeping in the doctor's office. This is not Amy's. I remember friends and family gathered around my hospital bed in prayer. That, that has nothing to do with Amy. That is someone else's experience of this. Perfect. Oh. 
cancer in this game, guys, is represented by these Ugh, horribly black, spiking sometimes. balls. Do you know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor? I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm pleading for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. And yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord. Right. Replete with presents and supernatural miracles. I envy her. He's reaching out for a video game. It's not this video game. Is it? Joel, the baby knight. Hop in bed, boys. Let's go. Boys, get in bed. Oh, can you at least tell us a story? That dragon cancer, it is this game. Um, <sighs> sure. Okay. This is the story of a very brave knight named Joel. Joel the baby knight? Yes. <laughs> baby knight. Joel the baby knight. <laughs> But he's also Joel the very brave knight, and he was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. Okay, Joel, you can do it. Oh. Because of his tumor? Mm-hmm. Where does the dragon live? Um, we'll go get him. In a forest. Is the dragon big? Very big. I'm not worried about him. Does the dragon breathe fire? Oh. So much fire, you guys. This is just like Mario. So, Joel has armor, like a sword and a shield and stuff? Ooh, or maybe a spear? Like that. Yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave Sir Joel with his sword and his shield How? and his awesome spear and his super jumping oh. ability. I was going to say I need some super jumping ability. By a dragon named Cancer. What other superpowers does he have? Uh, he also has grace. Yeah, he does. That's not a superpower. <laughs> it's the best superpower. Do you guys know what grace means? Yeah, it's kind of like help. Yeah, it's kind of like help. Yes! Just go straight over this dang thing. You know, and he's not the only one who's ever tried to fight this dragon. You know, some very brave knights have fought this dragon and lost. And some are able to drive the dragon off, and they can go home, and they can quit fighting. Oh! How do I get past this? There! Joel's been fighting this dragon for a long time. Huh? Oh no! Oh no! Nice empty cave. This is hard. Where he could rest. Yes, he did. Look. And it seems like the dragon couldn't find him. Awesome. Well, we shouldn't hide from the dragon. But just when he thought that the danger was past, the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave. Right. We're not beating this well, dragon. That dragon's going to kill you. Joel's going to lose. Not if I have anything to say about because it. Joel is just a baby. Babies can't kill dragons. You're right. A baby can't kill a dragon. But that's the best part of this story. God fights for Joel. Oh! 
fucking cancer right with Joel. And we know that God can win, even if Joel can't. That's We got this. Oh, guys, we can't fight and kill this thing. Give me a new suit of armor. No! Who's this? What about Tim from Church Mom? He died from cancer. Wasn't God fighting for him? Didn't he have him? Scott fought for Tim. Tim fought so well. And he's so brave and so strong. God let him rest. It may have seemed like the dragon won because Tim died. We know that Tim's in heaven, that he's with God, and that God is so proud of him. God, I can't run from this. There, Tim. That's it. Maybe Tim gave Joel a second chance. No. There are no second chances. Dr drowning. Back here. The game didn't help. Ryan's still underwater. Surrounded by this despair. There. Oh, and that was all still... Where's the boat? There it is. Hi guys. I'm not going back through there, am I? Ryan! Oh, Ryan, get in the boat! <laughs> I can't. Come on, Ryan. You have to, you'll drown! We're already drowning. Still. Get in the dang How boat. Can you sit there like that? Despair doesn't help with anything. Neither does false hope. And I'm not despairing. This happens. How can you say false hope? You're drowning! Well, you're missing your oars. And you don't even know where you're going. And yet you're so sure you're going to get there. It's better than drowning. Well, enjoy floating on the surface like you always do. There's nothing deep about drowning just get in the boat you have to let me feel this this is Someone a conversation that that's not fair all parents with a kid with I cancer love have as much as you do. how do just you fight it really how do you deal with we're it we're going to be okay hope or despair they're both well neither one's going to do anything to fix the problem right ryan gave in Let's make it to this lighthouse, okay? Let's do it. That is clearly our destination, and the boat is coming with us. I have to read this one before I move on. I'm sure my expectation looks like denial. But seeing Joel dying does not make me any less certain that he will be here. In some ways, I feel more certain. Not because the same doubts don't come to me, but because I know that they will not be entertained much longer. Because right. this chapter is almost finished. And we will have an ending one way or the other. God. So the doubts and fears that make me reaffirm that even if I'm wrong, this is where I stand, become less and less powerful. Of course they do. Oh, God, we're back underwater again, Ryan. Look at 
Hey. Come back, man. Is that the surface we're headed to? No, that is. Swim up. Swim all the way up. Whoa. Where are we now? There, the boat. Head for the boat. God, this is overwhelming. Oh, it's urging me to swim down, not up. <laughs> 